Okay, we're going to do some more uh, solving trig equations with arguments other than theta. Um, these three examples in particular. One thing you need to recall is the period for tan and cotan is pi. Uh, all the other uh, trig functions, the period is 2 pi. So that's going to affect how we add uh, our rotations. So the first one is tan of theta over 2 equals root 3. You're going to do the same thing you did before. You're going to just solve for tan of theta equals root 3. And in this case, we get this equals theta equals pi over 3. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did in the other video. We're going to set theta over 2 to equal pi over 3. Instead of 2k pi, though, we're going to just set it to pi times k, or k times pi. Because the period for tan is pi. Now, you multiply everything by 2 to solve for theta. So I'm just distributing the 2. And we get theta equals 2 pi over 3 plus 2k pi. plus 2k pi. Now, um, when k is 0, we get uh, 2 pi over 3, so that's one solution. Let's see if we get any more. Let's try 1. Let's try k equals 1. That would be 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi, which is the same as 2 pi over 3 plus 4 pi over 2, 4 pi over 3, which gives us um, 2, the common denominator is 3, so this would be 6 pi, sorry. This gives us 8 pi over 3, which clearly is bigger than 2 pi. So we have to disregard this one. If you want, we could, uh, you know, k equals 2 is not going to work if k equals 1 doesn't work. We can try k equals negative 1, which would be uh, 2 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3. And clearly, this is a negative number, and that is not, does not belong to 0 and pi which is our, what we need to seek, or it's 2 pi. All right, now, so we only have one solution on this one. Let's go to the next set. The next one we're going to do is secant of 3 theta over 2, which equals negative 2. In this case, our period is 2 pi. We're going to go from 0 to 2 pi. And um, so we just seek where sine of theta equals negative 2. And this one is going to be uh, 2 pi over 3. So theta equals 2 pi over 3. Now we set uh, 3, our argument, 3 theta over 2 to 2 pi over 3 plus... Um, 2k pi, because the period for secant is 2 pi. Okay, k equals 0. Well, first of all, we have to solve for theta. And we multiply this by 2 thirds. So we get theta equals 4 pi over 9 plus 4 times k pi over 3. Now, when k is 0, we get 4 pi over 9, and that clearly um, is in my domain here. And now we just have to check for others. Let's try k equals 1. k equals 1, we get 4 pi over 9, plus 4 pi over 3, which equals 4 pi over 9, plus the common denominator is 9, so that would be 12 pi over 3, 
which equals 16 pi over 9. Is that in between 0 and 2 pi? Yes, so we have another solution. All right, do you think another solution will work? Okay, so let's try 2. We have k equals 2. We get 4 pi over 3 plus 8 pi over 3. This is 4 pi over 9, sorry. 4 pi over 9 plus 24 pi over 9. Clearly, that's too big. It's bigger. Uh, this is uh, bigger than 2 pi, so we have to disregard that. And if, let's see if we can subtract here. If we subtract this k equals 1 here and try k equals negative 1, and I'm just going to make this a minus now. Let's make this a minus. Save space. Clearly, that's going to be a negative number. So our two solutions are 4 pi over 9 and 11 pi over 9. All right? Or 16 pi over 9, sorry. This is 16. All right? Now, the next one is cotangent. So we have cotangent of um, 2 theta over 3 equals negative root 3. So I think you're getting the hang of this. Cotan of theta equals negative 3 root negative 3, so theta would be uh, 5 pi over 6. We set this 2 theta over 3 equals 5 pi over 6 plus pi times k, or you can put the k in front. I tend to put it in the back, but the k. So we already know one solution when k equals 0 we know that one solution is going to be 5 pi over 6. Let's try, um, no, it's not. Uh, sorry about that. We have to first solve for theta, which is 3 halves. So we get theta equals 15 pi over 12 plus 3 times k times pi over 2 which is the same as if we divide both of these by um, 3, we get 5 pi over 4 plus 3 times k pi over 2. You're going to check for um, all your k's and you're going to find you only have one solution, which is 5 pi over 4. And you just do that. All right?